Uh, good morning. It's 8.50. <laughs> now I'm remembering why I stopped sleeping on a NeoAir X-Lite because it's not a comfortable sleeping pad. So, mistake number one for the trip. I don't like the NeoAir X-Lite. My arms fall asleep, it's light sleeping, and my back hurts. <laughs> well, good morning to you all. I just woke up from my second night out in the Uinta Mountains. I can't wait to do this video because I've had two awful nights of sleep. <laughs> and I wanna talk about why the NeoAir X-Lite from Thermarest is a terrible pad. This thing, I am now remembering why I got rid of it and I cut it open in a video to basically see if there was any mold growth in it after like seven, eight years of use. And at the time, I thought that a lot of the reason that this pad was not great for me for my sleep is that there was the regular length in the 20 inch wide mummy style. So it was a very small type of pad and I felt like I was falling off of the pad very often. My elbows were coming off and I just wasn't getting great sleep. But as I have like advanced through my backpacking and I've used plenty of other sleeping pads and I picked up this regular wide version of the NeoWare now that it's available and I thought, great, that's awesome. I've got access to a wide pad, but I absolutely was reminded on why this is not a good pad for side sleeping. And my back the last two mornings, like right now, is just super achy and I have not had that happen on any of my other trips from any of the other pads that I use. And I believe that the primary reason for that is the fact that there are horizontal baffles and the total height of this pad. So it's a two and a half inch uh, tall pad and you have horizontal baffles that are pretty thin. They're not like big bulky wide baffles. And because of that, as a side sleeper, in order for you to get the best sleep possible, I feel like this has to be inflated to max capacity, essentially. Otherwise, if it is not filled out completely, my hips and my elbow or my shoulders are pushing and touching the ground, and then I'm not getting the full insulation value out of that. But also, it's just not as comfortable. So you inflate this all the way and then when you're laying on your back it feels like a board <laughs> and you just don't have the support that you get out of the quilted style pads that you see from like big agnes or sea to summit or even nemo and this is less than ideal for a side sleeper because when you're moving around i also find that my shoulders oddly enough get really tired and aren't as like supported when I'm side sleeping and so my shoulders actually fall asleep. And then I roll over and I'm like uncomfortable because my shoulder had a bunch of pressure on it and it's really just not the quality sleep that I want out of a sleeping pad. And I know that this is probably going to maybe <laughs> upset a few people in the comments, uh, but let me know your experience with the Thermarest NeoWare X-Lite. Do you enjoy it as a pad? Is it something that's comfortable for you? And, and why does it work out for you or why not? I'd be curious to know if others have the similar experience that I do with this pad where I really, as lightweight as this is and compact and uh, minimal that it provides in reducing pack weight, I just don't think it's worth it as a side sleeper to have something that doesn't provide the support and the height for side sleeping and everything to make for a good night of sleep. Like I did not sleep well the last two nights and I absolutely blame it on the pad. <laughs> but that's my experience. Thought I'd share that this morning as I'm packing up and getting ready to head out uh, back to the car and from the trail today. But NeoWare X-Lite, sorry, you are not as good as everybody says you are. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.